How's it going guys? Uh, this is another tutorial that I'm gonna do. I'm really excited about this video um, because I just found out last night uh, when I was working how to make, you know, how to use many different uh, synthesizers in FL Studio and play them all at the same time. So I could have like uh, Artifact Nexus, Massive and you know you could use them all at the same time and, and I'm gonna make this $200 keyboard which is the Yamaha YPG 235 um, I'm gonna make this $200 keyboard sound like a, a $2,000 keyboard uh, for example you know the Yamaha Motif uh, I don't remember the model number the XF8 not quite sure how it is um, but anyways if you if you look up uh, the Yamaha motif and uh, if you notice that on this side on the left side of that keyboard it has some faders which you could use many uh, different samples and play them at the same time and, and if you don't like a sound you could just uh, put the fader down and then you know bring another sound, assign another sample or voice to it, to the fader. So I'm gonna do that with um, FL Studio. Um, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you look up my other videos of how to connect this, uh, this keyboard to FL Studio, uh, look it up. Um, you might have some issue with the drivers um, cause I, because I talk about the latest drivers of this keyboard uh, you have to look up for the latest drivers on, on the Yamaha website um, so anyways first let me show you how you can uh, let me start uh, how you could uh, do the setup with uh, playing all those uh, different sounds in, in, in in Alpha Studio and play all the different synthesizers at the same time. Let me uh, show you the the setup, how, how you have to do it. But anyways, it, it's, it's crazy. The things you can do with Alpha Studio and this uh, keyboard, this is a budget keyboard, but once you get the right sounds to it using Alpha Studio, I mean, it sounds crazy. So anyway, let's, let, let's get started. Alright, alright guys, this is how you do this. Go here, uh, delete all this, right click, delete it. I'm not too computer savvy, so I don't know how to delete all at the same time, so I'm doing one by one. Uh, now, on your sampler here, the one that stayed, Go ahead and right click and you're going to insert a layer. Now after the layer, underneath you're going to insert all your VSTs, uh, you know, your synthesizers, as many as you want. Uh, I'm just going to use two for the, uh, this video. I'm going to use Nexus. There you go. And I'm going to use another one. I'm gonna use citrus and there you have it now I'm gonna link this two uh, VSTs to the to the mixer channel um, like citrus I'm gonna link it to this channel insert in channel 3 and Nexus I'm gonna link it to this channel um, Alright, now go ahead and click on layer. Go ahead and right, uh, left click on layer. So what's going to be? And th this window, this window's open. And go back here and double click so all this will be highlighted. Or well, just one click instead of double clicking. Just make sure this is all highlighted. So go back to your, uh, you know, your layer channel. And here where it says set children go ahead and press it 
and that's it go ahead and uh, close it and um, and now you could just highlight this layer uh, just click on it so it will be highlighted just this one and now when you press any key on your MIDI keyboard these two are gonna play at the same time as you could you're gonna see here and while playing on the keyboard you could take this one out and just continue to play with just this sound so I mean you could be creative uh, just add a uh, you could add like three different uh, nexus and on each nexus have a different sound and could just combine them and play them all at the same time I mean you I mean you could do amazing stuff here so that's the way to do it guys again don't forget to subscribe ask me any questions uh, leave your comments below and thanks for watching